Hey guys, Ozzy Reptiles here. Today we're going to be having a look. Um, we've upgraded our Perrin's Tree Frog Tank in hopes that we'll have a few more coming in the near future. But let's turn the camera around and take a look at the new upgraded Perrin's Tree Frog Tank. All right, here we have it. So this is the tank. So it's pretty simple, pretty basic. It's got quite a large um, portion of water um, in hopes that maybe we can eventually get some taddies going from these guys down the track. But here we have it. So again, quite simple. Um, it's all live plants besides the dried up dead gum leaves. I just wanted something to sort of fill in the backgrounds and the corners a little bit more. Um, so yeah, uh, let's basically dive into it. So the substrate is actually just a sponge, aquarium sponge, filter sponge, and then I put moss attached to that. So the filter mat actually makes, um, well the filter sponge actually makes a really great uh, surface area for the, the moss. because so obviously it's sitting in water, so it's always quite damp, which obviously moss loves. And then the moss starts to attach to it, and it actually attaches really well. Um, this bit, oop, that bit was uh, up on the vine, but it doesn't stay on there too well. So we'll just shove it there. Brilliant. A little bit murky, but that water will settle. So, we have a few drabs of pothos. They have just been literally shoved in here, because these bits were from a different terrarium build, um, and they weren't doing too well. So I've taken them out and included them here. So at the, this time being, they're not planted anywhere fancy. They're just shoved into the water column. So that way they can sort of come back a little bit. We have this nice fern here. Absolutely beautiful fern. Um, there is also two little teeny tiny ferns. Um, little baby versions, which I've planted up on the waterfall section. So as you can see, this enclosure here has a permanent dripping um, little crevice waterfall um, little doodat um, <laughs> so it's got a few dripping points it flows over here this leaf I then have there so then it disperses it down so you can see there's two drips there it's also got a small running wall from that crevice and then there's also one from there as well so it's got that permanent dripping Awesome little vibe, um, with that's also keeping the moss underneath wet. There's a bit of liverwort there, which is just permanently under the water source. Uh, and it's also going to be watering the plants. Not that these plants will lack any water. Got some, uh, these are actual good bits of pothos, and we've got a bit of creeping fig. I've also put a bit of creeping fig in the background there. And so, yeah, we have these really nice lilies. Um, and then there is... I forget what this is called, but it's some sort of bird's nest. Um, it's just a bit of a, a fancier one. Now, without a doubt, you guys have seen the frog, or one of them, there is the two, uh, I believe a pair. Right, here is one of them. That is the one that I believe to be the female. The, oh, there he is, the male is up hiding there. Now he's really nice. He's not showing it right now. But he has a whole bunch of the really beautiful green speckles to him. So he is a really nice frog. So again, super simple setup. Um, I would have, uh, would like to actually get a little bit more branchery in there as well. Um, but I just didn't want to cover up the waterfall feature too much. I mean, it's a cool thing to see. But nonetheless, that's the tank. Super simple. I'll uh, get a bit of gravel to put in there. Actually, I'm going to probably keep it bare bottom. That way when I do water changes, it's easy to get the siphon in there and just suck up all the debris, dead crickets and so on. Uh, and that way, if I do eventually get some tatties, uh, hopefully they'll go well. I might look at maybe some white clouds or something in the bottom uh, temporarily. Um, whilst there are no tadpoles, once those tadpoles, I'll take them out for sure. But yeah, look, that's their tank. Again, super simple. 
it works. They are a tree frog, so as I said, I would like to get a, some more, either some more vines uh, or a few other nice bits of branches that I can put in there. But for the time being, it works. They've found their two spots. Um, and hopefully, yeah, we could get maybe another two or three to add to the group of parents tree frogs. So there we go, guys. Okay, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully you like the tank. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm quite a huge fan of the, uh, the dripping back wall. It looks great in my opinion. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.